Hello, Umut here. Welcome to another video. Uh, first of all, I want to say a Happy New Year to everybody. I had a really uh, relaxing break uh, during Christmas and New Year's, doing nothing and uh, including videos actually. As you would notice, I didn't publish something new for some time. But uh, I'm really excited for the new year and uh, with the new projects. I spent my holidays visiting a family abroad uh, in my home country, Turkey. Uh, and when I came home, uh, a nice surprise was waiting for me, uh, new designs from Stamperia. So I want to share with you uh, all these uh, beautiful designs uh, first, uh, before uh, I do my art journal. Uh, and uh, one of these designs is called Atelier and you will see me using this uh, scrapbook paper uh, pack to create my art journal because uh, it has one of my favorite uh, color combinations uh, brown, beige and uh, blues you can use them as uh, backgrounds uh, they are really beautiful and there are many things uh, that we could use as focal points as well uh, I am planning to do some tags, some journals and uh, you will see today I will use one of these mannequin designs. It's double sided, uh, 12 by 12 uh, and uh, I really love them. So many uh, ideas coming to my mind when I'm uh, looking at it uh, and uh, I hope you like it too. This video will be a little longer than usual for me uh, because I really wanted to share all these designs with you. If you like something, you could uh, go purchase. Uh, so I want to share what uh, came to me. Uh, this one is called Letters. It's another uh, paper pack uh, for scrapbooking or any other mixed media projects. And it's so beautiful uh, with these uh, designs of uh, roses and lettering and uh, different background designs. Um, I love these uh, roses, big ones. Probably I will use them as focal points as well. It came to my mind that I could do some uh, border with these leaves. Uh, I could cut them out and uh, place around the journal page. And... Uh, I really love the color combination. I love the combination of greens and pinks. You could also create cards very easily because they are already ready for you to use. And these rows I really love because it's half. So uh, I'm thinking maybe I could put uh, the same. Uh, it looks like it's coming off the page so it creates uh, a depth. We could use these uh, pages as background or to write the sentiment and uh, eventually there are some letters to create a sentiment as well which is really handy. Another one is called uh, Old Lace. Uh, this was one of my favorites actually when I looked at the website and I'm really happy I have it. Uh, this is so beautiful, uh, it looks like it's from the old times uh, and I really like the color combination again. Uh, all these browns, beige and whites, uh, very few colors in different tones, so it's a monochromatic uh, style. Again it's double sided uh, with different designs back and forth. I love the flowers and there are many images that uh, I can take and create uh, different uh, art journals. Here there is an envelope for example that we could uh, cut uh, and shape it and uh, you could use as a real envelope or uh, you could do other things with it. This page is uh, my favorite with uh, all these uh, designs that I could cut and create a journal page or a tag. I love this background, uh, probably I will definitely use it on a tag. We have another style, flower alphabet. 
Uh, this is uh, for spring, uh, obviously. I really, I'm really happy to see these colors back. Uh, uh, already I am tired of winter and the cold. Uh, and uh, there are such lovely sentiments on this uh, that I could use uh, and create many art journals. This page is all pink with some crackle uh, design on it. Look at this alphabet uh, with all the flowers and it's so colorful. I will quickly flip the rest for you to see. This is another, it's called New England. Here uh, again, one of my favorite color combinations, blues and whites. I love the birds and the flowers, especially the birds. Uh, I'm, when I saw the paper pack, I said I will use the birds for sure. This will look uh, familiar to you actually. Uh, I did uh, uh, many pages, uh, I think it was five pages uh, journal book uh, consisting only uh, from this alchemy uh, paper so I'm not going to look at it uh, in detail. But I will link down below my previous journals if you want to see it in detail and I actually created a lot of pages so you can get ideas. I'm showing you some individual uh, papers uh, that are separate that you can purchase alone. Uh, this dragonfly is amazing with different colors. Uh, some butterflies, different uh, backgrounds. Uh, I love this pink one. And here is my fairy girl. Uh, I'm sure again I will use it on a page. And uh, let's get to the rice papers, one of my favorite mediums to make collages on uh, art journals. And sometimes we assume uh, all of us know what a rice paper is and uh, some of you ask me what is the texture like. It's very thin, it's a, wa a waxed uh, paper that is very easy to make collages and it almost disappears into the page when you stick it on. Uh, I use it with a matte medium to stick on my page and it looks like it belongs to the background uh, because it's very thin and uh, easy to make collages. Here I am showing you different designs. I love these fish, uh, so I will wait for summer a little bit to use this one. Uh, but I love to work with uh, rice papers and napkins. Those were uh, A4 sizes and they also have 50 by 50 centimeter sizes that will be bigger. And here are some designs that uh, you can see. This is also a, a paper pack in postcard size. It's, size. it's called Baby Girl and there's Baby Boy as well. This is uh, maybe to create your own cards to celebrate uh, your friends and family for the new members. And I will show you some stencils that are really super nice designs. And I love this one specifically because it has a unicorn on it. So Again, I'm looking forward to using it. Uh, it will be easier for you to see like this. It's very versatile. There are different designs and I love clocks. So I'm glad to have this one. This one has a wood grain texture. And uh, let's look at the stamps quickly. This is a... Uh, these, some of these are really complementary uh, to the papers. Uh, for example, the lace collection, baby collection, sewing collection. This you can create a scenery or this is for backgrounding and uh, borders, uh, little stamps uh, for cards. So they have many many things uh, basically uh, to reach out uh, all mixed media collections. I will put the links down below to what I am using uh, today and also you can visit their store. Today I will be using the uh, Atelier collection and I cut some images already. 
uh, I prepared in my mind uh, what I am going to do and uh, I will use this as a part of the uh, background I'm going to tear them apart and uh, make it a part of the background you will see I'm tearing them uh, vertically in different uh, lengths uh, and I will stick them on the page as a start I'm using my matte medium to stick them on the page uh, this is just to create some interest at the background uh, with uh, similar designs uh, that I am going to use today. My focal point will be big I decided first to cut it and place it uh, on the page so that I can design the rest of the page according to that and not uh, uh, use something that I cannot stick this afterwards so and I am also uh, sticking this off the page a little bit to give some depth uh, and interest uh, I will cut the uh, parts that go off the page but uh, it looks more interesting when all the image is not on your page and there are some parts that are left for imagination. After I cut the parts uh, to fit on the page, now I'm going to do some stamping. This stamp collection uh, really goes with the theme that I'm using, all this uh, sewing theme. And uh, I'm going to use them, this one, this stitching, uh, cross stitching. Uh, to create some sort of border uh, with uh, black ink uh, I'm uh, uh, really not paying much attention if it's uh, all neat and tidy this is just to create uh, interest and have some sort of border and uh, you will see I will add color anyway there is another sort of uh, stitching which is uh, thin lines uh, and I am again adding some interest at the background uh, just uh, stamping it here and there, just creating a pattern. And uh, I have this handmade uh, stamp as well in the same stamp set. So again I'm going to stamp it here and there. This uh, work I'm doing is uh, all for background uh, interest. Uh, you won't see any of them so clearly after I'm done with the page. Now I will do some texture work. I got one of the stencils uh, that has some uh, floral design. And uh, I'm using my texture paste uh, again from Stamperia uh, just to do some uh, texture work uh, at one corner of the page and the other opposite corner of the page a little bit. All I am doing is to bring the page together. If there is one thing going on in one part of the page, uh, it helps to bring the eye together uh, and navigate if you uh, replicate it somehow on the other side. Uh, so that uh, all the page looks more cohesive. This is a uh, relevant for colors as well uh, you will see uh, further on how I do it with the colors now I'm uh, covering the page with gesso because I'm going to apply color uh, after applying a thin layer of gesso I'm using uh, my sprays from Stamperia in bronze color and I don't want to spray it uh, and splash it all over so I'm just dripping it uh, gently uh, and you will see I will use a brush later uh, to spread the color as much as I want. Uh, sometimes when I spray it, it goes everywhere, so I am being careful now. Uh, now I am going to take my brush and uh, just apply it gently uh, to the place, uh, until the place that I want it. And uh, I decided to do some more drip dripping uh, because uh, I won't touch it afterwards I will let it dry like this again uh, some parts of it will be a different uh, tone uh, which will give some depth and interest 
I'm doing the same to the opposite side. As I told you, uh, if you want some cohesiveness in the page, it's a good idea to replicate it on the opposite side of it so that uh, it brings the page together. I am again spreading it with my brush. Uh, I want to remind you that I covered uh, this uh, image with my matte medium so it's easy to spread the colors. If you don't cover it with matte medium or gesso, that will help uh, the color to be moved. It will uh, soak into your page and stay there. So just to remind, uh, this is a turquoise color. Again, a spray from Stamperia. I just want to have some driplets and uh, want to spread it with my uh, brush uh, and control it more rather than <laughs> splashing it uh, with the spray itself. And also I am uh, coloring the opposite corner of the page with the same uh, color. Now I am doing some drops uh, and I will dry the page like that. As you see on the, I have some uh, blue drops and I have some brown, uh, the bronze color uh, drops uh, in some places which makes it more interesting. And I also uh, gave the blue color to the rest of the dress as well instead of the whites that it had. I'm going to stick a butterfly on this uh, mannequin uh, but before that to make it more interesting I got some natural twine and I'm going to stick uh, two uh, rows, two lines of uh, the twine on the dress uh, so that I have something more interesting. I'm just uh, sticking it with uh, glue and uh, I will do it again as if it's two lines of it. Then I will stick my butterfly on these uh, twines. As you see, uh, I will again use some glue and this uh, butterfly will be uh, a little bit higher raised, uh, which will again give some dimension to my page. I took the same butterfly and I'm going to stick it on the, this part of the page, which will again uh, create some cohesiveness in color. Uh, this is blue and it's on the other page as well um, and uh, I use the same colors uh, to darken up the edges too again to give a border to the page. Now coming to my sentiment this metal embellishment is from Stamperia again and uh, I decided to stick my sentiment inside and I got the sentiment also from this uh, paper pad uh, it was very little uh, but uh, I saw it in the first couple of pages and I decided it was really nice and uh, took it. That's why it helps you not to work back to back on your art journal. I could have sticked it on the other page as well and my the page before my journal is also empty. That would allow me to place it on the other page. Now I'm going to stick my sentiment. It says be strong and don't give up. I cut it in half uh, to be able to fit it on in this frame and uh, I'm again sticking it uh, with uh, the glue that I have from Stamperia. Now I have this uh, droplet, it's clear and it uh, looks like glass uh, when you apply it and leave it to dry. It's kind of like a glossy accent. Uh, so I just applied it and uh, I will leave it uh, quite long time. I won't close it probably overnight uh, just to make sure it dries. And uh, I just uh, splashed, made some droplets uh, with the same colors I used on the art journal. Uh, the bronze, the blue and uh, I am doing some white splashes as well to bring everything together. After I left my uh, journal to dry overnight. Uh, I'm going to do some finishing touches, uh, which is uh, I uh, wanted this uh, mannequin to stand out more, so I'm making a black border around it after everything dried, just to bring it to the front more. Uh, and I'm going to do some border, little border, uh, with my black pen, uh, just to make sure uh, the edges are a little bit darker. Uh, so that I have my frame. 
when it's finished uh, I will show you close up uh, for you to see uh, my uh, uh, drop is also dry in the frame uh, so it looks like there is a glass uh, metal frame with a sentiment inside which is a nice touch uh, I like to do these things uh, like uh, some twine or these metal embellishments uh, that gives more interest to the page you can see the close-up pictures uh, here at the end of the video as well. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You will find the list of supplies down below at the description area as usual. Hope to see you next time.